tell me your process. Your, your enthusiasm is obvious, but your process I'm really curious about and, and want to get a little personal about because uh, a decade plus ago, a lot of people would say Intel didn't treat you right um, when you're on your way out. And a couple years ago, you were still saying, I'm not going back to Intel. Uh. At what point did you look at what Intel would have to do to get back in the fight and make your calculation and say, you know what? You know, kind of like, uh, I don't know, Doctor Strange in Endgame. <laughs> like, there's just one scenario that I see where this could work out, and I'm willing to go back and, and mm -hmm. work on it. Lots of movies I'm pulling out here. You can see my taste. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, you know, so in November, the board reached out to me about joining the board. So I asked Michael Dell, what do you think, Michael? He says, huh, they can use some help. Go help them. And I interviewed with the board uh, for a couple of weeks. And then right before Christmas, they said, would you consider being the CEO? And you can imagine when that question was put on the table, John, you know, it just brought back a flood, right, of emotions. And, you know, the thoughts of being pushed out 11 years ago and now being considered to come back. Could I do it? Do I want to do it? Right, the role of Intel as an icon, right, for, you know, the, the legacy of Gordon, Andy, and Robert. And, you know, in uh, Innovation Tomorrow, I have a piece where I interview Gordon Moore. It's like, these are the people that I grew up with. You know, they invested in me and made me who I am. Right, you know, second is, you know, Intel's the company that puts silicon into Silicon Valley. You know, the foundational role that they have played for the technology industry and third is the role it plays in the economy and national security for our nation uh, as well. And as I looked at that and the stumbles that Intel has had, you know, the conversations with the board of directors, I wrote a strategy document for the board. You know, someday it will probably be in the Intel Museum uh, as well. And, uh, you know, and I said, if you're going to call me, I need two things. One is it must be unanimous. The board has to be all in because we are going on an incredible journey together. All of you need to say, Pat's the guy. And second, you need to say, that's the strategy. And with that, it was this unanimity because you know, literally in less than 45 days, we laid out this new strategy to the street. How do you do that in 45 days? Well, I already had the unanimity of the board because they said, we want you to take the job, Pat, and we're all in on the strategy. And that's allowed us to very rapidly lay out a bold strategy to pivot the company in a fundamental way, to make the investments in manufacturing, to rebuild our engineering proudness, to reestablish the culture of the uh, company. And this journey is now getting momentum mm. inside of the company. When you wrote that document, did you write it knowing that that was the strategy? Or did you write it to figure out if there was a strategy that could work? You know, it was some of both, right? You know, and obviously as you develop a strategy document, and it's like, I was never that far from Intel, you know, in my, what I call my 11 year vacation, right? <laughs> uh, as you have it, you know, I was never that far, right? You know, and you're getting all these questions, people would call me, people leaving, people coming, what do you think, you know? You know so you're developing that thesis over the last uh, several years. So I clearly had a thought process in mind engaging with the board in depth around it. And then in that, you know, it just ruined my Christmas holidays as I was uh, studying and reading every analyst report, et cetera. Could it work? You know, will, you know, will the board have the appetite to do this? You know, what will be the effect in the marketplace? You know, where are these different segments? Do we have the opportunity to come back? And, you know, as I finished that document, it was like, not only do I believe I'm called to do this, but I believe we can do this and finally, we must do this.